I am Prakash Devaraju. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in Dr. Stanislav Zakharenko's laboratory at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Memphis, Tennessee. Neuropsychiatric disorders pose the highest economic and health burden to the society. But there are not many valid animal models to understand the pathophysiology of these disorders. In this review article, we discuss the various roles of mitochondria in neural circuit function and how most models of 22Q11 deletion syndrome help us understand the pathophysiology of these disorders. 22Q11 deletion syndrome is the most common human microdeletion syndrome. Approximately 30% of individuals with this syndrome develop schizophrenia later in life. Interestingly, six genes within the 22Q11 genomic region code for mitochondrial proteins. Mitochondrial dysfunction is associated with various neuropsychiatric disorders such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, anxiety, depression, and autism. And there is a greater representation of mitochondrial genes in the 22Q11 genomic region. Taken together, mouse models of 22Q11 deletion syndrome can be valid tools to understand the mitochondrial basis of these neuropsychiatric disorders. Mitochondria play several important roles in synaptic transmission, the most important being ATP synthesis and calcium buffering. Recently, we identified one of the genes in the 20Q11 deletion syndrome, MRPL40, in short MRPL40, and implicated in a calcium extrusion deficit in most models. This is also one of the top 25 candidate genes in an association study of schizophrenia and non-synonymous single nucleotide polymorphisms. Haploinsufficiency of this gene leads to reduce calcium extrusion through the mitochondrial permeability transition pore. This reduced calcium extrusion then reduces mitochondrial calcium buffering capacity. During bouts of synaptic activity, reduction in mitochondrial calcium buffering capacity leads to increased cytosolic calcium, which then leads to increased synaptic vesicular release. This then gives rise to abnormal short-term plasticity and working memory deficits. In addition to ADP synthesis and calcium buffering, mitochondria are also involved in lipid synthesis and redox balance. The elaborate architecture of neuronal cells means an additional problem of trafficking mitochondria. In addition, the different cells in the nervous system may not be equally affected by a deficit in mitochondrial function. For example, interneurons will be more prone for even a subtle deficit in ADP synthesis because they fire action potentials at a higher rate, meaning higher metabolic demand. In the second part of this review, we focus on the six genes in 22Q11 genomic region, including MRPL40, and how their roles in mitochondrial function relates to neuropsychiatric disease. ProDH encodes proline dehydrogenase which is an enzyme involved in the conversion of proline to glutamate. SLC25A1 codes for a citrate transporter. A recent report suggests uh, GDHSC8 can affect uh, terminal axonal arborization, thereby affecting hippocampal prefrontal connections and working memory problems. T10, it is uh, likely that this gene is involved in mitochondrial beta oxidation of fatty acids. TXNRD2 codes for thioredoxin reductase, which has a key role in redox balance. It's clear that many 22Q11 deletion syndrome genes are affecting different aspects of mitochondrial function. This gives rise to synaptic circuit deficits, which underlie neuropsychiatric disease. Most models of this syndrome can help us further understand the mitochondrial basis of these disorders and in future help design therapeutics with subcellular precision.